Indiana is on track to improve the way it teaches climate change. New state science standards that require more climate education will go into full effect by next school year. But Indiana Public Broadcasting's Rebecca Theo reports an expert says Indiana teachers may need to do more to prepare for those changes. Two years ago, Indiana received a D for how it teaches climate from the National Center for Science Education and the Texas Freedom Network Education Fund. Since then, the state added more climate requirements to its science standards and extra environmental science standards for high schoolers. Now, Indiana would probably earn a B or an A minus, says Glenn Branch, deputy director for the NCSE. They would be among the top 10 in the country now. And that's a huge achievement of which Hoosiers can be proud. But Branch says just having the standards is not enough. Many teachers will need to get training to get them up to speed. States like Washington, Maine and California have passed laws to fund those efforts. Branch says without good climate education, Indiana students might not perform well in state and national science tests. And that could make Indiana less attractive to certain industries. For Indiana Public Broadcasting, I'm Rebecca Thiel. According to a Yale Climate Opinion Survey, it's estimated that more than 70 percent of adult Hoosiers believe kids should be taught about the causes, consequences and potential solutions to global warming. Well, don't let the holiday cold snap fool you. Winters in Indiana are getting warmer on average. That's according to the Independent Research and Reporting Collaboration Climate Central. The average winter temperature has gone up for every Indiana city studied since 1970. Parts of the state saw an average increase varying from 2 degrees all the way up to 4 to 5 degrees. Climate Central says warmer winters can lead to lower fruit crop yields and more disease-carrying pests like mosquitoes and ticks.